Pride for me is a really important word. It means a number of different things. Pride in who we are, in who I am, the way I've been born, which I am proud of. It makes me a little bit different and a little bit special, just like all of you. But pride also is a big celebration of all the multicolored spectrum of variations that life has to offer. The fact that some people want to clamp down and oppress and oppress that sickens me and I think the fact that we need to rise up against it, stand up and be proud in who we are is such an important thing. My first Pride experience, well, I had to do it in secret because I hadn't told my mum that I was gay yet. So I live in London and it was London Pride, which is, I won't say the best Pride in the world, but one of the best Prides in the world. And but I had to sneak out and do my hair and put my outfit on and creep down and hope my mum didn't spot me on the news, which she did. Um, so that was kind of the way she sort of started to know that I was gay. I think she always knew before that, but it was an amazing event. I went with friends that I'd met from all over the place um, and I had a fantastic day. I don't really remember how it ended. I just remember my mum asking me some more good questions when I got home. Social media, I love. I'm a big Twitter fan. I tweet voraciously. I lie in bed tweeting, lie in the bath tweeting, lie on the train, well not lie on the train tweeting, but you know what I mean. And I think the reason I love it is because I get to talk to people all around the world, some of them who see my TV shows, people who want to ask me questions, people who want to send me awkward pictures of parts of themselves which we won't mention. But particularly, you know, the fact that I can chat to another gay man in Uganda who's maybe struggling with his sexuality or even illness is such a privilege. And the fact that he has access to people around the world and knows that there's hope is the reason I think social media is the future and I think is the future of pride. When I first heard about the concept of digital pride, I leapt from my seat in excitement because I've often thought it's very nice and it, I'm very privileged to be able to walk down the street as a gay man, being proud of being a gay man, but I was also very aware that there are a lot of people all around the world for whom that is just not possible. And it's a little bit in their face for me to do that whilst they can't. I love the fact that now I hope that Digital Pride invites all those people to take part, even if still they live in fear and they live under a regime that oppresses them, they can still join in. And it is a small stand, a little fight, and it's those little fights that add up to make big changes later on in the world. And I really hope that that happens.